Right, hello everyone. Um, so this is a slightly different from the videos that I've been posting in that um, it is still a f like first time solve. This is like my first time seeing the problem that I'm about to discuss, but it's not uh, being live streamed because this is like the most recent use about. So um, yeah, we're gonna. I think the lack of an audience will not really make a difference. Ex uh, well, well, we'll find out, alright. <laughs> Anyways, alright. So, uh, this is useful problem 5. Um, and let's... It has a triangle. Okay, very cool. Um, so, ABC is a triangle. And then there's... Oh, which is... Uh, so, okay. Um, I guess angle C has to be smaller than angle A. So we'll we'll make a note of that. Okay. Uh, what's the easiest way to construct this? So I'm gonna actually just mark the point. Uh, okay. We're, we're gonna enter in the. Here's O. Uh, and then. So AP will be the ray such that like the points on it, P, P, like PAC is ACB, so like D is on here, and also BDC is, what the frick is that condition? 90 plus BAC? Uh, fascinating, okay. And E is on BD such that, okay, so this perpendicular bisector of AC is gonna play, a, do a lot of things in the problem. Okay, what's the, how, how do I do this in GeoGebra? Um, if I zoom, does the, when I zoom the text changes, this does not change size, that's good to know. Uh, so I, I want to just ma mark the midpoint of AC right away, because I am probably going to need it. Um, okay, how, how do I make an angle? that has 90 plus BAC. What, what's the ease? Is there? So I can make an angle that's like 90 minus BAC using OB. Um, So if I do 90, okay, I want to, I want to copy OBC onto, um, like I see a kind of crappy way to do it, but uh, okay, well, we'll just roll with it and see what happens. I'm, I'm just trying to draw a diagram. So what I'm going to do is um, we're going to let uh, the tangents, um, yeah, the tangents from T, from B and C will meet at T, all right? All right, uh, I'm gonna edit this text so that it's a little less wide. Shit, no! Uh, how do you, how do you use this text thing? This is, uh, okay. Okay, there we go. Um, Okay, I'm gonna make this smaller. It's taking up way too much space. Uh, okay, so we can consider this as like. Uh, well, I'm gonna make. Uh, all right, here. All right, we'll, we'll do it this way. So here's segment AP, and the what the circle I'm gonna draw is the circle centered at T with radius TB. And if I didn't mess up, um, then this is D. D is this point here. 
And because this is one of those things where, like, I don't know. I feel like I almost have to draw the other intersection because, I don't know. It, right now, the asymmetry is, like, bothering the heck out of me. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's bothered. Well, well I'll, I'll, I'll take a moment to at least finish drawing the problem and notice at some point I will probably end up drawing the other intersection too. Anyways, E is the intersection of line BD and line NO. So here's that. And here's the other one. And unfortunately in this picture it looks like BE and N are like practically collinear, which is not amazing. Uh, I'm gonna color this one a different shade of red. Here's BD. I'll color. I'll color this a different color. Um, yeah, th I, this 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 segment needs to be extended at some point. I, I think there's no chance that it doesn't get some sort of extension. Um, maybe not no chance, but it looks. It feels like it wants to. Because the intersection of AP with the circumcircle is also good. It's the point such that AB, QC, or whatever is an isosceles trapezoid, and then you have this ick awkward, like, single intersection. Okay, anyways, I want AB to be tangent to BEM. Uh, I, I want, like, the uh, EMB. I want these angles equal. Is that what I want? Okay, great. Uh, yeah, I'll... So that's what's going on. Um... I wonder if those are the angles I want. Is there... That doesn't really matter. Uh... Okay, so, like... Yeah, this, these angle conditions are kind of... They are angle conditions you can have. Uh, okay, I'm going to draw the other intersection of problem list. So we're going to let Q be the other intersection of segment AP. Q. And then... So ABQC is an isosceles trapezoid. This I really feel like this is asking for complex numbers. It does kind of. Because <sighs> ABQCT are all really clean. Perpendicular bisector might be a little annoying. Um, but. But the thing is, there's two inters- like, this- 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 this D is- okay, I- I should draw the other one. Um... We'll call it R, I guess. Yeah. So this- this D prime, I guess, like, I almost wonder if I replace D with R, like, is the problem statement still true? Because if so, I'm going to draw it in anyways, just out of curiosity. So, if I, instead of BD, I use BR, um, then, I, I should call it D prime, honestly. Oh, make a little mistake. Then E prime can be like the intersection of line, same perpendicular bisector against line um, N E. Oh shit, no, line N E and line B D prime. If I'm intersecting things, I don't really care about their rays. Right, and this circle, this should also lie on this. In fact, they're actually the same circle. So, yeah, the, the, the and or seems like it doesn't really matter and Okay, that's fine. So we will we will draw this one in as well. B 
BD Prime. And I'm going to extend this perpendicular bisector to include an E prime as well. Okay, so one thing I can think about at this point actually is, is it clear that BEE -E prime um, is tangent? If I ignore the midpoint M altogether, is, is BEE -E prime known to be tangent to... Um, line A, B. Because if, like right now, the midpoint M doesn't really inter talk to any of the other points yet, but I want to see if like that angle gets copied somehow. So BDD prime C is a cyclic quad. So like I guess like okay. So like this red line is perpend like N N O E P prime is like perpendicular here. So this angle is like related like I think this should just be D D prime. This might just be like true. I because I feel like I feel like I should be able to just write all the angles in terms of all the other angles, and like get something out. Mm. It just seems kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, I might need the tech for this though. Uh, <sighs> Fortunately, I didn't actually think through this setup very carefully. Uh, so I'm because I'm not on my usual stream account. That's a good way to... Okay, so green... But okay, it's like what lines are in play? It's like the two green lines and the two red lines. I want some angle assertion about. I, I want some statement about the angles between them. Like green to red equal like BE to BA ought to be equal to um, red to. Okay, let's see if that shows up. So this is that. Why, why can't I? So we expect the, to have this. 
and this can be a bit bigger. So I think everything should be bold so that we can actually read it. So we expect to have this angle relationship. Um, and that's equivalent to... I should be able to phrase... Okay, so it's... So this is like rotated. So AC is rotated that way. This green line is BD, BD prime. I want BD and BD prime to kind of point, to have uh, signs against each other, but I'm not sure I can force that to happen. Uh... Yeah, on the other hand, there's like, Q is actually, okay, I should, I actually think I should orient this picture so that it's symmetric, so that AC is on the bottom, because right now I have BC on the bottom, which is okay, but I feel like AC on the bottom is actually more natural, um, because this is like the symmetry, the big symmetry of the problem is actually around line AC, so we're going to, um, we're going to change the reference frame. And I'm sorry, because for uh, having an A index problem, like uh, B index problem, as we say, uh, not my problem. So you know, somebody else's fault. <laughs> uh, okay. So how how do I make the points actually show? Okay, let's do that. Right, and then, honestly, I don't actually care about these two angles right now, so whatever. We'll, we'll make it go away. The main thing is this, um, Cyclic quad. B E E prime that we is the one that we're release. Wait, it does pass through. It should pass. No, it doesn't. What am I talking about? It's not. It's not a diameter this time. So it would be actually equivalent for um, like there's a reflected circle E prime Q E and C Q is also going to be tangent to that in theory, right? Um, yeah, I wonder if I should be. I think I want to draw the complete the symmetry point. Uh, so there's there's like a point X which is the intersection of line A B line C Q. Oh, did I define x already? Or is that point? Oops, did I... wait, what? Uh, 
MCQ, yeah. And perpendicular bisector keeps getting more and more points on it. Yeah, this whole problem is like kind of symmetric around this. Um, like this. So what I want is in this... I guess this is an isosceles triangle. Uh, with... Yeah, it's literally like an isosceles triangle. Um, I want like... B, E, E prime to A, B. And then I want also the midpoint there to be on it. Um... Okay. No, 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 I, wait, was I? Am I just stupid? Red to green, red to green. No, 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 or, no, the, sign, the signs are still wrong. Green to red. <sighs> I, I, I keep, I keep mess, mixing up the direction of the things. Um, but, but I really feel like this should just be like, Okay, here's a different question actually. Is this angle happen to be 90? Am I doing the wrong thing with T? Uh, well, okay, like this is the correct circle, but I feel like this point X is also conspicuously, um, has a very similar angle. Actually, okay, Here, here's what I suggest, okay? I, I suggest a triangle XAC and triangle um, TBC are just like, spiral similar is that true and let n and m map to each other like i think um i'm gonna hide triangle abc itself but i th oh actually that looks really bad uh like here here's tm all right like this black this black triangle figure tbmc should map to just x a n c because the angles are actually the same and if that's the case, then... Is that a horizontal line? Uh, wait, really? Is that always horizontal? Oh, it looks horizontal. Okay, that's a good thing to... But yeah, yeah, we, it's it's like I have this spiral similarity of the black, like, what's my call it, sh like triangle shape to this other one. So if there's a spiral similarity there, then uh, what does that tell me? In particular, CXT should be similar to CBA as well. So this triangle is similar to this one. Um, and does that imply the parallel? Because now this angle here is equal to that 
but okay, biosymmetry is also equal to that. Okay, so I have the parallel. Sh I get that XT is parallel to AC now. So let me write all this stuff down. Similarity triangle XTC, similar to triangle ABC. And so XT parallel AC. So I think putting AC as the horizontal line was a really good choice here. Because it's not Yeah, like this is like this is the symmetry I really want. Okay, good. Now um So this cyclic quad, if it's, we don't know it's cyclic yet, I guess. But um, like, I see this thing where it's like, I'm trying to imagine if I could project. Yeah, actually, if this was cyclic, what, what, what projection would that tell me gives a harmonic quad? It's like APDD prime. Okay, so that's, this might be where the harmonic part comes in, where I think APDD prime should be a harmonic. And if so, um, something should give uh, okay let, let me let me think through the statement that I just made well okay we, right now we expect to have um, a P D D prime harmonic so that's on our like what we hope is true uh, but if that's true it also should be pretty easy to prove right like that there's no way that can be hard to prove um, in fact How, how do I check this? So it's like I have this circle here with radius TB equals TC and why, why is this harmonic quad? Or why is this harmonic bundle? Come on, come on. So, what I what I want, what I need is that this point P lies on like. Okay, first of all, actually, I've I've been ignoring this for a bit, but B T is this tangent, right? So this angle B T. This angle, yeah. So by the symmetry, A D prime is parallel to B T. So these two lines, I should I saw highlight is also parallel. It's um. These are, para these are para parallel lines by chasing the angles against the red. Uh, so we're going to highlight these in a different color. Okay, and how do I get the harmonic out of that? So D and D prime are the p points that are defined by like this pairing thing. And so what I really want is, I, I want P to lie on the A polar with respect to this weird ass circle. Uh, surely that should be, that, that feels like it doesn't involve the points D anymore. So this should just be a true statement that I don't feel like should be particularly hard to prove, but I'm not seeing it right now. Um, A P <laughs> Oh, come on.
Okay, this has to be not hard to- I, I, I'm- this is embarrassing. Uh, I, I, I need to be able to get this. Where, where are these segments that I- Why can't I find the segments I want to hide? Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna- We're gonna hide this segment. And this segment. And so I can hide the- D prime for now. So I'm just going to focus on proving the thing that I said where I wanted um, cuz this is this is how I I think I need this to break in. Um what is this again? This is EM. I feel like a bunch of objects are missing from my algebra view on the Okay, so this is the whole diagram. How do I show P's on the polar of A? This, this like, should be, like, just... Why is P on the polar of A? Why, why am I not seeing this? Wait, so, wait. Why, why is this not just, what? So I fixed TB and TC and imagine like varying A. Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna do a very good job of this, but um, like if I fix TBC on the circle, like none of the other shit should move. So are you telling me that the polar of A is line BC? That's not true. Hang on. Oh, Shiba, all right. All right, one moment. Um, freaking. We're gonna... Oops, uh, what's, what did I call the circumcircle? Why did everything disappear? Okay, come back, come back, everyone back, get back here, get back here! Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, the claim is that as I vary A, like, A, P, D, D, pro okay. What on earth? Wait, I'm high. Something something went wrong. That's not true that it's the... I, I screwed something up. It's not passing through P. What? I thought I got that it was a harmonic bundle. What did I do? I'm... Uh... <sighs> Alright, come back everyone. Okay. So, um, where did I get this stupid idea from? So I said that if this is tangent, okay, sorry, I misspoke. There's, there's nothing harmonic in particular. It's just the cross ratio AD PD prime, um, equals the cross ratio B E prime ME, but it's not, there's no promise that the quadrilateral is harmonic. Um, okay, never mind. I'm stupid. Uh, but I feel like I really like this projection.
Okay, anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna forget everything I said about minus one. <sighs> what was I trying to do again? So I have this similar pair TPC to XAC. I still am, don't have that BEE prime has this tangent at A, which is what I guess what I was trying to do. Um, Are, okay, are are that the E pair cyclic? No, they're not. Man, can't, should I be try? I could try to use an unharmonic cross ratio. I haven't done that in a long time. But, um. It is not entirely off the table. Uh. I don't know how, what I would try to get with that cross ratio, but it is true, like, B, E prime, M, E. Assuming it is cyclic, then when you project it onto the purple line, you do get something, and then... I don't know if you project it to... somewhere else. Hmm.
feel like I'm not really using the tangents, though. Like, I'm not really using the TP and TC or tangent to ABC. I should be using that somehow, I don't know how. Um... Okay, well, one thing I can do is, I guess, like, okay, this angle, x, b, e prime, you can kind of measure, because x, b, e prime is x, b, t, like, green, this green to this red is this green to pink plus pink to red, and then the pink angle transfers here. So this angle is, like, um... So let me see. Angle E prime B X equals angle E prime B T plus angle T B X equals angle T B X prime A X plus angle So this is true, right? And can I control so D prime A X plus angle B D prime A Oh that just goes in a circle. It's it's still E prime B X. <sighs> Fine. What about the other one? But E prime is like the angle of B D against side A like it's B D against A C rotated by ninety. No wait, no, this the no, wait, what am I talking about? D prime AX and then B D prime A. The whole point of this is I should be moving B D prime A to like B C D, right? So I didn't need the parallel, but it's like E prime BX is just the sum of these two. Uh, Xter, yeah, I didn't need the parallel, but I do want to transfer B D prime A. So this is like, so D prime AX is like angle DAB plus angle AD prime B D prime A is equal to B C D. So then it's like, I want DAB plus BCD to equal this thing. That should just be... Yeah, everything should be computable now. Because on the other hand, um, angle... <sighs> e prime EB is equal to uh, angle NPC minus angle uh, DBC. So I think everything becomes computable and it should tell you that these two angles coincide. Um, 
And when I do the write-up, I'll write this up a little more carefully. But I think the BE prime E is actually just an angle chase, and I was too scared to commit to the angle chase earlier. But it is an angle chase. Um, push here, here. Um, move this D prime angle down to BCD. Meanwhile, this is like... This angle is like this angle minus that. And then this angle and this angle have a known sum. So that establishes the tangency of ABX to BE prime. And the last part, which might not even be the hard part, now the more that I'm looking at this, but the, the, the step after that is to um, get the four blue point cyclic. Now, so the question is, how do I get M to play with the other points in the picture? Um, but I have like this spiral similarity that takes the that's like mapping M to N somehow. So can I try to get that? Well, MN is parallel to AB um, because it's a midline. So, so what's going on there? <laughs> Yeah, I've, I haven't I haven't actually used the, this parallel thing at all. Um, I how do I get B E prime M to be cyclic? Well, okay, it's, it's a little, because, like, I have this blue circle, I have, like, oh god, the problem is that in this picture, ABC is almost right, so it looks really confusing. I want to change the diagram a little. So it looks less like that's the case. It still kind of looks like that. Um...
I just computed this angle, right? Like I said that this angle can be computed in terms of like some crap. And if I can compute this angle, then I can, by the same token, compute. So I think there's a world in which, like, trig Ptolemy will just work. I don't really want to go that route, but I think it will just work. Because if you know, um... I, I don't want to go that route. But you, in principle, I think one way you can try to attack now is you compute BE, the lanes of BE, BE prime, BM is known, all the angles are known, and then there's you write down the equation that says, are these, is M on the circumcircle of BE e prime? There's something you can do there. Um, I'm not going to quite go that way, but instead, well, I want to, well, I was trying to do this projection crap earlier, right? Like, so suppose I have BE prime, and I like want M to be on that circle. If I was trying to let, if I let M be the second intersection, um, or some, so if, if I redefined M, because up until now M hasn't really done too much, but if I defined M to be the second intersection and then I projected, um, I want to project it in some way such that well, you want to project from B, I guess, which kills the information that I want. Because the tangent is a B, so if you project B E prime M E through B, um, it doesn't do anything useful. Uh, but B is such a good point to project through. <laughs> like, it's just... Ah. B E prime E... I really can't just project through P. Yeah, that's sad. Oh, actually, now that I'm paying a little more attention, um, so the angle that I computed earlier that I used to get BEE prime cyclic um, is actually like just straight up QCD, right? Like this, uh, when you take this angle, cut it here, here, uh, this angle transfers. So I should be marking in CD. That, that does seem important that like QCD turns out to be the angle because There's a world in which I try to get M cyclic by using that ang the same angle there. So this angle and some of the other ones I hid. Well, actually, I don't think I want these two anymore. Uh, but it's like this angle. I don't know how to spell the word angle, apparently. I don't need to know the measure. That's not important to me. And then... Uh, the, the assertion was that this angle... Oh wait, there's a lot of cyclic crap that I totally did not 
pay attention to. So, okay, I can go from here to here. That part is fine. Um, and the other claim was that, like, this angle I could compute because it was equal to, uh, like, this angle minus, like, that angle thing, ADC. But I wonder if I should just try to get DEC axis uh, cyclic quad. Is that clear? Yeah, that, that one is pretty obvious. Um, and if DEC cyclic is cyclic, Yeah, th so this one's actually easier to see just from, um, like, angle ADC matches that angle there. Uh, I feel like I might not even need T anymore. I might have been totally baited by the point T, and DEC X cyclic is actually what I want. Let's hide T, because I don't... Uh, no, I'll keep it moment. I'll keep it a little while longer. I might eventually hide it if there's too much junk. Uh, but DEC X is cyclic, so that also gives these angles. So BEE prime is cyclic. I feel like I should know this particular, not, um, BEE prime has the BEA tangent. But now that we're here, we're trying to get after, um, the angle at M. And now I have leverage, right? Because I have this point E prime. And so, um, I, I want, I just need E prime M to be cyclic with like any, I need this angle to coincide with like any of the other random green angles I've drawn. Uh, but right now we don't know M lies on the circle. So then the question is like, what do I do with the midpoint? Um, but I have circles. Yeah. Yeah, it's just E prime M is really awkward to work with. But. Yeah, I just, yeah. Like, I know e, B, e, e prime is good. I just don't know what to do with M. I might want to do something that involves both of these, actually, so that I can actually use the information that I got. Uh, okay, I have the tangent. I think I might be being... No, I feel like this this black one and this... The black and orange, like, I saw these triangles. Oh, okay. C C D E X being cyclic feels like it's pretty. That feels like there should be a little more emphasized, because it's like wow, I actually have like a, some control over. Um, 
And for that matter, I should draw the analogous one, right? So there's like four different circles passing through C at this point. Uh, and the blue ones should give me a spiral sim, I think. I think I have, no, they don't. Never mind. Is it through X? I feel like there's a spiral similarity of some shape here. If I just find the, like I should, I can't tell. There's so many circles I can't see where they're going. Uh, but yeah, C is like 10 million circles through it. Uh. Like X E E prime. I net a second line through X. I don't know. I, I want something that gets M though. Like M is the point that I don't have control over right now. How do I get control of ME? So, okay, there's a spiral that sends NEM to, um, there should be a spiral sim that sends NEM to, like, some point XT or something ridiculous like that. Uh, e, yeah, so, EMN is... Oh god. E prime 
Um, yeah. This is the key circle. Okay, I wanna, I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed by stuff, so I'm gonna momentarily hide all this stuff involving T, because so far it hasn't really done anything. And see what I can do with just the rest of the picture. So I'm gonna hide. But see, the problem is if I don't have T, then this this gray circle is never really defined. Like, I can't... This, this is like 90 plus A, and this is like... Each of these two angles is individually 90 minus A. So... Hang on, now, now I'm confused. Uh, why? Why did I say this is 90 minus a? So this. Wait, am I a stupid head? Uh. I feel like this. Ninety minus a. What? What I really want to? Can I just dilate this over by a factor of two or something? Okay, forget, forget. T. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna let y be like. Did I? Um. Where's Y? Why is also on the big circle, right? It's all the way up there. I think this might be a better, this seems like it might be a better way of handling T, or handling the condition in T. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just dilate everything uh, by a factor of two. So this is now like this really big right triangle. Um, and this gray circle uh, passes through D. Yeah, okay, cool, very, very cool. Um, I mean, okay, I guess T is back, because now T is... No, T is not the middle one. Um, Okay, so new plan. Um, boom, Y. So Y is all the way up there. It's like the reflection under this mess. And then here's MNL. And so how was how is D defined? It's like BY. So all this gray circle is less stupid than it was before. I previously defined it's to have like this quote unquote center of this circle is. T, but that T was really awkward to work with and didn't do anything. I think this Y is better. Um, either way, we still get this blue circle. So now I'm curious how this blue circle and this yellow circle relate. Oh, what? Is my Spotify playing? What the hell? Alexa, stop! I don't know why Alexa was playing something random. Uh, yeah, so I think this blue and yellow thing is like... Uh, 
Oh, I, I don't know, actually. So L is actually the cent. No, L. Wait, now I'm so confused. Is L not the? No, this is not a writing goal. Uh, the the center of the circle is like here, somewhere on there. I don't think the center is particularly informative. Um. But okay, so it's like you define x, you reflect x to get y. Uh, now there's like ten million midpoints everywhere. Um, but. So X is the midpoint of AY, M is the midpoint of BC. CTT Prime. Um,
in an ideal world, CDD prime and MD know if I think that's going to work, but for some reason... Oh, it is. Okay. So, okay, this is how we're going to get the midpoint. Um, we'll show triangle CDD prime similar to triangle MEE prime. I want to get from this triangle to that other triangle. I don't need this anymore. This doesn't really matter. So my question then is if C if C D D prime and M E E prime are similar, what's the point that corresponds to P? And also I should probably just dilate everything by a factor of two, right? Like uh Well, maybe that's not... Like, why would this angle... I, I, I want to look those angles again. Why did they end up being equal? Like, I was looking at them and I'm like, somehow they feel equal, but I couldn't tell why. Uh, something about them speaks to me. Okay, so CDD prime, I guess I can transfer all the way up to like... Well, this, this could be a lot of things. So one thing that could happen is like this point here somehow, like there's this, cause there's already a blue, that feels so silly though. Um, but there's like a rain style thing where maybe like, That point looks like it is on a lot of things. Does it stay on a lot of, yeah. And this point is supposed to... So if I take the point through P, line through P parallel, why are, are those are concurrent? That feels just kind of surprising to me. So the line through P and the line CD and the line ME are somehow meeting up. That feels kind of icky though. Uh, is there another way I can get through?
Oh, okay. That, that angle, this red angle appears in a bunch of other places too, right? Like, this is also angle CBE prime for a similar. For us, practically circular reasons. Um, so. Okay, so you want all three of them to be equal. Which two of these are already equal, if any? We don't have any of them already equal. Uh, no, no, no. Um, no, we do, right? Um, DP. DQ, QD. Yeah, three of the yellows. Are th so these two are already equal. Um, these two are known equal. Now, where else can I transfer this angle? If this vehicle feels like it shows up in a lot of places, does it appear like here? Like is if this forty nine point two seven angle? That one is not it. But D prime C X. No. But I feel like I was using, was I using this angle? I feel like I was using this angle a bit earlier, right? When I was doing the angle chase. Like, um... We ended up using the green angle to transfer. But... Okay, let me retrace. So this quad was cyclic because this is 90 minus A and this is 90 minus A. And then because of that, we got this green, it's this green, it's this green. So like the light blue helped me transfer the green angle to here and then to here. And that's how we got the tangency. Um, so how do I transfer the red angle? Well, I know the green ones are equal, so it would also be enough if I could just get... Oh, come on. Where else does this red angle show up? Still haven't really used the midpoint. Hi, Ray. Ray might be. <sighs>
so the other thing is I have this thing that I always forget about, which is like the Semedian is isogonal to the median. So the other, like, if I can get Q in like QM and QT are isogonal, BM and BT are isogonal, does that do anything at all? QM. If I know that T happens to be the center of the yellow circle. Well, really, the green and red angles play two roles, don't they? Like it would, like I'm also just gunning for E prime M B being the green angle. Well, sorry, I, I'm spoke. It's one of the red ink. Mm. No, 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 no. No, green and red are a little different. Never mind. Um. All right. How long have I spent on this? Oh, it's 90 minutes. Oh, that's not good. Oh.
is the center. Q, B, T, and B, M are orthogonal. Yeah, I, I want to get a spiral from C, D, I, I want C, D, D prime and M, E, E prime should be directly similar somehow. Um, but I, I don't know how to hold M. Okay, if I believe the what's going on, like there should be I want like a spiral sim that maps C F F prime to C D D prime, or equivalently that maps C F D to C F prime D. Um which will occur as long as I get some cyclic stuff. And I have the the upshot of this is it passes through Q, so that's a good sign. So is it wait, is it just true that these are cyclic or something? No, sorry, not this one. Uh No. What's okay? What's the how? How does this? Oh, I haven't done this. Too, freaky. I'm too old for this. What's the criteria for? Uh, so for these guys to be spirally similar, uh, C is the center of the spiral similarity. B was like this line thingy. So. And crap, the stuff meets at Q. So in order for C to be the spiral center, I need like circles through C, Q, and one of C, Q, like F, D or something. Is that how the spiral, that, that should be how it goes. Okay. Uh, did I know that circle was there already? No, I didn't. Okay, so that seems good to know. Uh, is that circle cyclic? Because if, if I can get that cyclic, then I should be okay. And uh, this is I'm I'm not very happy right now. Uh, <laughs> if I want this to be cyclic, what needs to be true? Well, I haven't really used the point. Like somehow this is coming. In. The power came out of the point B or something. I'm gonna hide T again. Oh my god, there's so much random junk that I've drawn. 
<sighs> okay, but okay, hang on a moment. Like B like this whole thing is like this is a right triangle, right? Like like B E F Q F is a right triangle with midpoint E. That seems pretty important. Uh because that means the that should kill the problem, right? Okay, yeah, that that's just a quick. So this angle is this angle, and like this angle is that. Did I know that? Wait, that feels weird to me. That's just it. That just works. So, are you telling me I didn't need? Okay, well, at least we got it. Um, uh, hmm. Something about this really bothers me, though. Uh, Cause I feel like we didn't use... Okay, let, let me recap what happened and to try to get... Okay, so what, first of all, let's delete all the junk I didn't use. So T ended up being useless. Uh, that, that was a sort of a bad idea. L didn't matter. This purple didn't matter. I feel like some of the circles I drew didn't matter. Y ended up not mattering. Um, we can hide all of that. Uh, I want to move the points a little. I don't think this really... Hide the angles. I'm going to hide the red angles because I didn't use them. In fact, I should make these angles red, really, but we'll do it later. Did I use the light blue? I feel like I used the light blue like slightly, not really. Is there, there's just so much stuff in this picture. Okay, like, holy crap. I, I really want to clean it up. Um, but the recap is because of the 90 minus A condition, you got the blue circles. Because this angle, uh, or which, which one? This blue circle, because, uh, because of the 90 minus A stuff. Like this angle, and... Wait, wait, which things? Like EDC is equal to EXC. So you got the blue circles. The blue circles gave you the green angles. I don't think I really needed. Um... I don't think I used this circle. That circle didn't matter. So the triangle that ended up solving the problem was CD. Did I use the yellow circle at all? Can I hide the yellow stuff? Yeah. Somehow I feel like there's still a lot of stuff on the diagram, and I feel like I did use a lot of- so Somehow the, the length of the solution feels like it shouldn't require a diagram this complicated. Uh, but here we are. Um, I'll color this red and this one purple, alright. Yeah, I guess the Q thing. Yeah, all right. Okay, uh, so I'll probably not write this up and post it at some point, but um, we got it in like about one and a half hours. 
So, whew, here we are. Um, <laughs> I hope that was kind of informative, maybe, of like, what it looks like to solve Geo as Geo Gibra. Um, that tea really was, tea, tea was a bad idea. Okay, I should have used X to begin with. Um, but yeah, that's our first offline solve. Um, this will eventually make it to YouTube and you're presumably are watching that now. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, and yeah, I don't know if I'll keep doing these. Honestly, like having to doing this with no audience just felt like it feels weird to talk to yourself. Okay, I haven't done that before. It's just like I'm, I'm just saying stuff, and then there's no one hearing it until many weeks later. But tune into the stream. We do live solves Friday nights when I'm not doing something else. Um, yeah. All right. Cool. See y'all. <laughs>